Hello everyone, today I'll tell you how to grow a green crystal of more salt. More salt is a double salt of iron ammonium sulfate. To prepare more salt, we will need an iron sulfate and ammonium sulfate. These substances can be bought in a chemical store or via the internet. Take a large glass and weigh 60 grams of ammonium sulfate and 138 grams of iron 2 sulfate in it. Next. Add 400 ml of very hot water to the mixture. Mix the solution until all the salt is dissolved. The solution will begin to acquire a brown color due to a hydrolysis of iron 2 sulfate. Now we leave the solution for a day to cool down and to precipitate out the seed crystals on the solution. A day later we can see that a lot of small green crystals of more salt have grown at the bottom of the glass. Also. We don't need the iron oxide precipitate that is as well on the bottom of that glass. Take the filter and filter the solution into another container. However, no need to filter the small amount of solution that contains unnecessary iron oxides. It's better to corrode this residue. Now you need to select a seed from the mixture of green crystals that have grown over the night at the bottom of the glass. The seed is a small crystal of which a large crystal will be able to grow in the future. Crystal seed must be of a regular shape and large enough. You must bind the seed of your choice to a thin fishing line and hang it in the filtered solution of more salt. Now we shall put the glass of grown crystal in the closet to protect it from dust. Over time, the water will evaporate from the solution and the excess salt will form a large single crystal of the seed. After about 2 months, my crystal has grown enough and I decide that it's ok to stop its growth. I also had a crystal grown in a smaller cup. Now I am pulling the crystal from the solution and, as many of you already know, covering the crystal with a colorless nail polish. If you decide not to do it, the crystal may eventually turn yellow and lose its original appearance. Also, the iron salts have a rather strong smell and I do not want to get the smell of iron on my hands after I grab the crystal. When the varnish is dried, you can evaluate the work that is was done and examine the crystal more closely. The ideal crystal shape should be symmetrical and have a complex prism. Crystal shape is defined with a crystal lattice of a substance. As can be seen, the shape of my crystal is prismatic, but with some defect. We can see that some faces have irregularities and flaws. Also, the crystal is not fully transparent. All this testifies to the defects in the crystal. Ideally, the crystal must be transparent. The defects in the crystal are due to the temperature fluctuations during growth, the presence of dust in the solution and the resulting iron oxide contamination. However, the crystal of more salt is still quite beautiful and can be a nice decoration in the house. Although in practice, this crystal can hardly be applied anywhere. If you drop it on the floor, it will break apart. If you like this video, take a look of my other videos about crystal growth. You can also subscribe to my channel for some much more interesting and informative. again